is this is the process, but then uh, it's the process for a, for lighting a coal stove. Show them the. Uh, we'll show them the stove. Yo, we're making a film for YouTube. Where are you at? Dude, match light briquettes. Absolutely, that's cool. Going where? Oh, okay. Go home and feed the boy. Alright. What else is going on tonight, anyway? Oh, she's bringing out the lights for you, buddy. Jeez, old man. We're gonna make a production out of this. I know you didn't want it. It doesn't look that great. The problem is, I just put all that shit away and relax. Hey, listen, out. you're swearing already. <laughs> it's gonna be a tough one. Are you filming all this? Yeah, yeah, we're filming it. No, you don't need to film it. We got it. So I was gonna, I was gonna explain it to you. This is how a redneck starts a, a pea coal stove, rice coal, what is it? Rice, rice, rice coal. coal. So normally a couple different people have different things, so magnesium fuse lit ones or some uh, dryer lint and a sandwich bag. I've seen all kinds of stuff all and right. it, it never works. So what you want to do normally is just like a fireplace, make sure your dampener's open. And what I do is I usually Here's your feed, so I make a little ridge right here. All right. And then, uh, and I'll show you guys how to put the the coal in there once it's lit. And uh, really, all you have to do is put a shovel on top of the the hot coals, and then um, good to go. Plug it in and let it go. Let it fly. So it's very simple. Got your match light, Kingsford. You got your Weber. Coal igniter supposed to go over a burner on a uh, charcoal grill. Yeah. You don't want to carry something open ended like that with hot coals through your house. So uh, the, the the kitchen they donated that little bowl to me. So, <laughs> well, uh, the one at work. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> oh, I do upstairs since that's match light. I don't use lighter fluid or anything. I do All right. a little bit of paper underneath. Yeah. It really doesn't take too many coals. I usually just fill the fill the bottom here and pile it in pretty good. All right. And, uh, my my camera guy wouldn't allow me to prep this, so he's filming it as I go. Normally, I would have had this open for don't mind me now for quick viewing uh, simplicity, but we'll do a final edit. So that's it. And then once you light that, the fun part is it'll take about 25 minutes or whatever your preferred beverage of choice is with your age and whatever you want to do. Uh, All right. For me, it's PBRs for probably about three of them until that's ready to go into the coal stove. All right, well. So now we're going to light the briquettes. All right, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty, uh, the bowl, the bowl is just for going in and out of house. So now we got the, the newspaper there. These are the match light ones. So they, you don't have to worry about the lighter fluid. And this is. Oh, uh, did I forgot to hit record? I'm just kidding. <laughs> so that's it. Yeah, all right. You let and it the key up. is, you, you have to wait until these get all white. All right. You do. You don't want to. You don't want to have like splotches where they're half still black and half ash. Um, you want them completely burned down, and you want that red hot charcoal. Like you're getting and ready then, to cook a burger on gonna, there. And then we're going to dr drop that right back in the stove and um, get the get the coal going. And easy peasy, but hey, get your hot dogs, get your beer, whatever you're going to do. We're going to have to wait a little bit. All right. PBR time. Look like. Ready right. to go. All right. So we need a hot coal. So it's ten minutes. Yep. Get that. And we're going to go down and we're going to show you how to do it. So you're going to carry it inside like that. Yes, sir. All right. 
Don't let that don't let that stainless steel get too hot, huh? Oh, you got a hot glove out? Yep, sorry, safety first. Alright, let's a little go. welding glove. Yeah, no note if you have fire alarms, uh you, you might you might set your fire alarms off, huh? Look, your your wife still got the nice lamp set up for you here. All right, so this one on the this does get hot, so I left that out. All right. But you do want gloves like this. So now you got your coals. Dump them right in that ridge you made earlier. All right. That's what you want. Hey, all right. And usually I just go to the back of the stove. Get a nice shovel. All right, throw it right on top, eh? Sprinkle it nice and easy. I'm gonna try to keep all the material there. Time to start it. All right. I think we're good. I don't know. Now, if you want to, you can treat it and pour, put a little more scoop of shovel here and there, but it's crackling like popcorn. You can hear it. Uh, it's never treated me wrong. It smells like a barbecue and dead, dead it's stink. It's a lot of those starters that you're going to buy from the store. So you're saying the starters, that you, the magnesium starters don't work as well? Nope. And if somebody knows the secret, hey, you're better off than secret me. Sauce. But this is the easiest way i found to look, get this thing lit. It's go time in there, huh? Go time, buddy. Walk away. Autofocus is even having a hard time. Got this place cranking up in no time. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, look at that. She is a burning good. All that from some uh, cheap king, match king, briquettes? How, how much do those magnesium? Uh, two, bucks a piece. two bucks a piece. And how much is a bag of king, king briquettes? Two bucks for a bag of. King briquettes. That little, that little bag there was 489. 489. And how many starts you get it at? Probably four Three. or five. Three. All right. There you go, folks. Five in the bag. King's Third Ford Match Light briquettes. During the height of the summer, it'd be a lot cheaper. Yep. Oh.